What's going on? This is Wesley Jonathan on the set of The Soul Man, and you are watching Studio Q. been a lot of fun. I've known Cedric for many years, um, going on probably 10 plus, but I've never worked with him before. And how I got to know Cedric was that his wife, uh, Lorna, was there recording and dating back in the day when, when I was doing my show City Guys and he was doing the Steve Harvey show um, we would see and she was doing actually wardrobe she was the head of wardrobe on my show so when she told us that she was like going out on dates with Cedric the Entertainer we were teasing and laughing like ooh you going out with Cedric ooh <laughs> so we were teasing and this is funny like 11 years now they still married we got married and got two kids a family so I, I got to know him through pretty much her and um but this is, you know, obviously the first time me and him would work together. And, um, you know, when I first got wind of the job as far as going out for the uh, actual role to play his brother, I was a little kind of like um, me playing Cedric's brother. Because I, I would picture them going somewhere maybe older or, you know, you know, it's a different route than me. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, well, you know, whatever, okay. You know, you're, not, you're also supposed to let the producers and writers and creators of the show decide whether you're right or not, not you. Mm -hmm. Um, so we you know, went in and gave him my best shot and you know, uh, didn't read the script or anything, just the size of the auditioning piece that they give you. Mm -hmm. And I uh, got a call back and then um, called again to do a chemistry re read with uh, Sid and uh, did a te network testing and got the role. Um, so now that we're like not, what are we, 10 episodes in now? Yeah, 10, 11 wow. episodes in. Um, it's been just a, a riot, man. It's been, you know, it's been a cool, cool journey so far to watch the show grow from a pilot to not having a title mm -hmm. um, to doing the pilot getting picked up, and then, uh, him, you know, him and Nisi are fools. I mean, they they, <laughs> they keep us <laughs> laughing, and we all keep each other laughing and entertained. And it's a really, you know, when you go, go go to work and enjoy what you do and get paid well for it. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, it's a blessing, man. It's a beautiful thing. So it's like, and the thing about, I mean, we know that Cedric is a funny dude and it's obvious but what I, I love about him is that he's a real humble and down to earth dude like um, he treats everybody from the crew to the cast no matter where you're at on the totem pole with you know greets everybody good morning you know you know it's, it's still about business and he's still you know very serious and very you know wants this show to be successful so you know very hands-on but he's, he, he's very kind and humble to everybody which is what I love the most because it's nothing like working with somebody who, who really smelling themselves real mm -hmm. tough and you know feeling themselves and it's a lot of those out there but mm -hmm. um, so it's a blessing to work with somebody who's really really cool and the success that he's had over his um his career hasn't gotten him, you know, uh, out of control ego-wise, so he's really cool. <laughs> it's funny because, like, the, I guess the more, the more the more people I saw sweetness and role bounce, and I get more, like, offers and roles to where I'm, I'm the playboy or, I'm, you know, this pimp or I'm, the, you know, the <laughs> And it's fun. Um, it, it is it, people always ask, "Is that me?" Or you know, you know, they see they meet me and they go, "Oh, you're really cool. You're not like you know, sweet. What's the character I play?" I mean, but uh, do I love myself? Of course. I hope you love yourself. <laughs> My mama said to love myself, so I'm gonna love myself. Um, so, but to the point to where I, the arrogance to think that I'm better than someone. No, anybody would tell you who knows me, and I've been doing this for 20 years plus. Mm -hmm. they, they don't believe the hype, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you don't don't believe what people are telling you. You know, you you, you take each job as it comes, and you, you say your, your thanks, and you keep it pushing. You know what I mean? I don't. So when it comes to the girls and the attention or whatever that I get, um, I, I take everybody's you know love with a grain of salt, and it's appreciated, and it's never something that gets old, and I don't start to believe it. I don't believe it to the point to where it, it, it consumes me, to where uh, I'm engulfed in it. Right, right, right. I, I hear it. Thank you. It, it feels good like anything else like anybody else would, right. and you and you and you keep it moving. You know, you can get better, like whether it be body wise, whether it be acting wise. It's so, I got so much more work to do. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not satisfied. I'm not, you know, I'm grateful, but I'm not satisfied. So mm -hmm. when people, you know, you know, have the idea of like you you made it, no, no, not quite. I mean, right. your your idea of making it is completely different <laughs> from mine. It, it feels great to, to, to get complimented, um, but those that recognize, what, what makes me feel better about a woman just saying, oh, you sexy, or you yeah, cute, or yeah. you, you good looking, 
I love it when somebody can say that, but they also either back it up mm -hmm. with, you've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. I've watched you from this job to that job right. to this job. You're not knowing my name, but you just know my face and you know my mm -hmm. work. And um, saying you do great work and you deserve more or, right. you know what I'm saying, you don't get the recognition, you're underrated. That's the kind of stuff that it makes me Mm -hmm. feel really good versus the whole yeah you yeah. sexy I mean it's cool <laughs> right that's right. it's whatever dude. Like, <laughs> know my name know the work <laughs> exactly that's important <laughs>People always ask, how do you relate to your character stamps? I don't really, to a degree. I don't have any brothers. I got two sisters. Uh, you know, I look at it like this: when you get a, when you, when you audition for a role, mm -hmm. then you have no idea what um, they're looking for. They don't even know what they're looking for at right. the time. You, you got to show them what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. That's it. So. What I picture was, okay, Cedric is an old R&B singer who's now got the calling to be a minister, a preacher, and he's going on the straight and narrow. If his brother has been, you know, his tag along his, through his celebrity career, and he was the kind of brother that would take the groupies that he didn't want, mm -hmm. you know, you know, picking up all the leftovers <laughs> and stuff and just riding the wave, yeah. what would this guy be like? Well, he wouldn't take life serious. Um, he doesn't, you know, the insults of him not having a job or having, you know, no, no direction doesn't bug him. Um, he's okay with it. He's comfortable with that. I mean, what, 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 you know, so I'm thinking like, what can I, you know, what, he has to be completely opposite from Cedric. So, you know, I'm, I'm not tapping into anything that I know personally. Mm -hmm. Although if you live long enough, you've seen that. Right. You've seen the slacker brother. Right. You've seen the brother that's like doing big things and doing great things with mm -hmm. other brothers just like I'm there. So you've seen it. But um, it was just using my common sense, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and at the same time, being likable, you know what I mean? As mm -hmm. far as being playful with it. And um, my biggest concern was would I be too young up looking because the industry has like kind of brainwashed me to where it, uh, it's hard for me to play adult mm -hmm. manly man you know family <laughs> man of three years right yeah. I'm still not I'm still too young to play the whole like I have three kids and a wife so that's the whole thing exactly. he's like I want you young he says oh, you know because you know, you being young is going to give a better reason of why you still are kind of like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this, let's do that. Hey, Joe Holstein, man, there's always money to be made. I'm always, I always at an angle to something. Exactly. So, and everything I do is random and doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense to me. It doesn't and make sense. Sid yeah. has a young spirit, so yeah. it goes so it well. goes with that, yeah. So it's like, and then, you know, Sid, he's on, you know, Sid on a strict diet. He's come down so much in weight. He's looking really mm -hmm. good. So it's, it actually took a lot of age off of him. So he looks young. So mm -hmm. we don't, we, we all got together and took pictures and did our, and got the episode of the pilot on our feet and we're working together. I looked at it and said, you know what, I buy this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, look, we look like a fan for sure. I can see that. And then you got John Beasley who's very fair. Yeah. You know, it's kind of gives, and gives the balance. And then we're getting ready to bring moms into the, to the, you know, oh, to the series. But I'm not going to tell you guys who's playing moms. Why? I know, no exclusive. Nah, nah, I can't do that. Because I don't know if the deal is finalized. I don't want to jack nothing up. But the moms is, is, is somebody we all know and are a fan of um, from what I'm hearing. But uh -huh. it, 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 it really does. I mean, black folks, we come in every shade. And mm -hmm. you know, your, your father can be fair skinned, your mom can be dark, you come out this way, they come out that way, just you never know. So, but us as a family, I buy it, so yeah. um, it's not a hard sell. So, once I got over that, it was now just trying to sink my teeth into who stamps it is. And to this very day, like, I've got a nice grasp of them, but still mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. First seasons for a pilot, all that's hard. Pilots are the hardest things to do, and I think this pilot on this show, and I've like been on series before, this pilot was really well done for mm -hmm. a first show. I mean, it's hard to introduce characters to still make you laugh in 20 and tell a story in 22 minutes it's like it's really difficult without having people like bored mm -hmm. so we did a good job the writers did a good, wonderful job um, with the pilot and each show has gotten a lot better and a lot funnier and we're bringing in wonderful guest cast and celebrity guest cast and a lot of people are flowing through the show and you know said has relationships with many many people and you know uh, you're calling in your folks man you know what I mean and just this is a show right now that is not on on TV, there's nothing like it. It's opening up doors for us. I love Shawnee O'Neal. I have a crush on Shawnee O'Neal. <laughs> I don't have too many, you know, celebrity crushes, but Shawnee O'Neal. Hey, much respect. 
you know, doing your thing as a boss lady. I don't watch the shows. I don't watch the, the loving hip hops and ATL. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get into those shows. Right. Um, you know, to each his own. I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up doing what I'm doing. I grew up watching Three's Company, Different Strokes, Different yeah. World, Cosby Show. This is the stuff that I know. Um, I'm glad I'm not a part of that stuff. I mean, yeah, you, you, you think about like how it's such a craze right now, reality this and reality that, but it's like, um, I, I don't I don't particularly want to be a part of that. I know it's I know it's short lived, mm -hmm. you know, and only a few are going to actually take their 15 minutes and run with right. it. Um, but I mean, for, you know, whatever, get your money now, whatever it is. I mean, it, it, reality TV, these basketball wives and all that stuff is not it's not even real anymore. Mm -hmm. It's so set up and, you know, putting mm -hmm. people in a house, giving them some liquor mm -hmm. and saying, hey, fuss. Fight, let it take you. Right. And it's just cheap to shoot. That's why it's such a, it's such a, you know, the network says it's easy to shoot. Mm -hmm. You grab a couple people off the street, give them some liquor, put them in a the house, and anybody going, you know, you st stick them in the house and tell them not to go and not to leave, they're going to, the crap going to hit the fan. So, um, no, I'm, I'm very, very uh, blessed to, to not have to fold into, I, I guess you can't beat them, join them type of syndrome with the whole reality thing. I've got people come, you should do a reality. No. I'll eat concrete before I do it. <laughs> I will. I will live under the freeway before I do that. There's. No, I just won't. I can't do it. Plus, me having a reality show, I won't have any fans. <laughs> and why is that? Just because I'm. I'm. I'm a special little individual. I'm just. I, I, I don't know how to like. I don't know how to not be me. Yeah. No, I mean I'm being, I'm being I'm being extreme, but I'm I'm very temperamental. I, um, <laughs> anybody knows me is like yeah you you just not need to be. No, I'm a, I'm a sweet guy. I'm a nice guy, but you see road rage. You see me in the grocery store fussing. <laughs> don't take don't go to the airport. I just got attitude all the time. <laughs> so nah, but reality is not for me. Okay. Um, I don't mind peeking my head in of uh, reality shows with friends like Tara Owens. His show, I yeah. you know peek my head in there and um, uh, uh, e even Marcel has her show uh, um, with a girlfriend confidential that's coming out mm -hmm. on. Oxygen, Propo, one of them, and I peep my head in on there. You know what I mean? So I, I got my friends, and my friend, a lot of friends that do it. And yeah. I, you know, we'll get your money, get your, you know, I'm gonna mm -hmm. knock you. The you know, only time I got problems when you start calling yourself an actor or an actress. I, 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 <laughs> that's not the case. Mm -hmm. We see why you stamps now. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. This is real TV to me. Yeah. This is reality TV to me. <laughs>the Cosby show. I remember mean, people were trying to compare us to Tyler Perry's stuff and it's I, I wouldn't compare it to any of those. I just it's just T V as we used to know. You know, T V land is bringing about a scripted sitcom television. Every character that any actor plays, I don't care what it is, there's a little bit of that in you if you do it well. So in other words, whatever role you portray, you do it to where people are like, yo, you, you know, you played the heck out of that. There's a little bit of that in you. Like me, for instance, with Sweetness, you know, I'm not like arrogant like that. Yeah. Am I confident? Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but do I know how to amplify that? Yes. Yeah, you can, you know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a little bit of everything that I do. I mean, is there a silly side to me? Is there a goofy side to me? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, is there, you know, a serious side? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you try to, you try to um, tap into wherever your experience in life is mm -hmm. with, you know, things that would be a challenge to me is being a family man of three, having three kids, right. many kids. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what to do with the little boogers. <laughs> so if I was to play that, I would really have to like ask questions about how do you hold a kid or how do you, yeah. how do you make it look like, yeah. I'm like that. I don't know how, I don't know how to do that. It's weird. So.